You know, when you tell a story, you're not supposed to get too ahead of yourself. Things happen in order. Event A creates event B, and on to event C, and so forth. Sometimes, though, you're just hyping people up for what's to come. Teasing them a little bit. I can't tell whether Zimpano was a performer or a poser. Some have suggested that the horrors Navidson encountered in that house were merely manifestations of his own troubled psyche. Dr. Ivan Van Pollett, in his book The Incident, claims the entire house is a physical incarnation of Navidson's psychological pain. I often wonder how things might have turned out if Will Navidson had, how shall we say, done a little bit of house cleaning. Now, see, I could maybe get on board with that if I knew what horrors we were even talking about in the first place. <sighs> kind of hard to provide analysis for something you haven't even shown off yet. Doesn't stop them from going on, though. <laughs> Apparently, Navison's childhood was a lot of fun. His family moved every two to three years, so home wasn't a permanent concept. His father was a violent alcoholic, and his mother was an actress obsessed with ladder climbing. She was last seen in a Los Angeles bar smoking a cigarette and talking about moonlight and why you could find so much of it in Hollywood. Neither Will nor his twin brother Tom ever heard from her again. You know, it's possible I've sat next to her before with my buddy Lude, taken one long look and decided not to buy her a drink. I'd never know. Because the enormous narcissism of their parents deprived Will and Tom of any suitable role models, both brothers learned to identify with absence. Consequently, even if something beneficial fortuitously entered their lives, they immediately treated it as temporary. Zampano writes that maybe Navidson took up photography because it was his way of seeing something and making it stay. A, a photo is a photo. It stays the way you take it, frozen in time. I guess the section about Navidson drinking lemonade on his porch and explaining the documentary is the way it gets rubbed in. Photography is just how he deals with things. It's how he speaks. As for the question of why it was him that ended up in the house, we get this, and it's... On history, talent, and emotional background, only Navidson could have gone as deep as he did and still have successfully brought that vision back. Footnote credited to Zampano himself. This chapter first appeared as The Matter of Why in LA Weekly, May 19th, 1992. You might imagine I'm in a pretty good situation for hunting down that copy of LA Weekly and seeing if it's real. You're right, but there's no article inside about anything even remotely related to the Navidson record. Besides, other than his detour, Zapano writes too well for the weekly. I've got some other things I'm going to try to look for. It'll drive me insane if I have to find the actual reference material for all these footnotes, but I'm going to see how much I can verify along the way. Might take a bit of a break first. I'm getting too used to this already. Not smart to get comfortable with talking to yourself. <laughs> 